How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. This is an RPG Maker MV special request tutorial. So this is for Ark of Truth. He asked uh, for a tutorial on how to stop somebody from entering an area unless they're a certain level. So this is pretty easy to do. Basically, you're just going to make a simple restriction event. Say this is our transfer event, the Doghouse Dungeon. Well, on the transfer event itself, you can set it up like this. So you can have it below character or same level as character, depending on the tile. If they're going to walk onto it, you're going to put it below. If they won't walk onto it, you'll put it as same as character. Um, and if you do it below, you want to also set it to player touch. That way, as soon as the player walks on it, it'll let them in it. Um, I'm going to set it to same as character and an action button so the player has to go up to the dungeon and hit enter. Depends on how you want to do your transfer event. So however you set that up, doesn't matter. But here's how the functionality works. It's very simple. Most of you probably already know this, but for those of you beginning, do it this way. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new control variables. So we're going to control variables and we're going to create an arbitrary name, we'll say party level. And we're going to set it to the party leader or the main party. You can also manipulate um, several variables and, and control multiple uh, party levels and then like say add up four numbers and then divide it by four to get an average level and use the fifth variable to determine. But to make it simple we're going to just control the party leader's level or we're going to check it rather. So we're going to say control the variable uh, doesn't matter the number, party level, we just call it an arbitrary name. We're going to use the operation of set and we're going to set it to the game data and we're going to go to actor and then you select the actor you want to check and then we're going to say we want to see what level they are. So this is pretty simple, but it does is it takes the level of that actor and it stores that number inside the game variable that you chose. So we do that at the beginning as soon as before anything else happens. So we interact with the event. Instead of transporting it, it just checks the level. And then what we're going to do is insert a conditional branch. So that conditional branch is going to check that same variable. We're going to see if it's greater than or equal to whatever number you want to say. If this is a dungeon for level 10 plus, and if you're not level 10, then you don't want them to walk into it and just get slaughtered, you can put the safety control on it to stop people from walking into areas that they're not supposed to get to yet. So we'll say party level greater than or equal to our number of 10. We're also going to check an else branch because they may not be greater than 10. So we have to design an, uh, a scenario for when they're not. Now, if they meet the criteria and the party level, uh, the character leader is above, uh, is 10 or above, then you can do whatever sound effects, animations, flash that you want to do. And you do your transfer event that takes you to whatever map the dungeon uh, goes to. Uh, otherwise, you say, uh, you just show a text or however you want to do it. You just let them know that they're not high enough level yet and then you might also want to let them know how far they have to grind to get into this new dungeon. So for this we're letting them know that they have to be level 10 to enter. So very very simple. Let's take a look at this in action. So I'm going to be controlling Driftwood and we're going to put him at level 1. We're Driftwood, we're level 1 and it tells us we're not high enough level. We must be at least level 10 to enter. So what if we put him to level 10 and try it again? Now we're Driftwood level 10 and it plays an animation and it lets it, and it teleports us into the dog dungeon. That's pretty much it. Hopefully you found that helpful, Arc of Truth. Anybody else who found that helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you have any special requests, put them in the comments below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, back me up on Patreon if you want to support the channel and what I do. Appreciate that, everybody who does that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come hang out on the Discord if you want to uh, chat with us. I really appreciate that, all you guys coming and hanging out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.